Hi, and welcome to our first devlog for our rocket jumping movement shooter, Project ZV. I'm Cosmic Griffin. And I'm X Gahan X. This is how we got from here to here. Actually, the start was more like, um, you know, right here. This is it. Indie games have creative risk taking abilities that AAA developers are too scared to take. We knew we wanted something unique. And originally, the aim was going to be something with an arcade feel, something with real time, quick, quick, quick. Brainstorming was not limited to a genre. Anything was on the table. Uh, match 3, racing, even multiplayer, though small in scope. This was not actually a quick process. It took us quite a few days. We finally settled on this. It had something unique and familiar as its main mechanic, which is rocket jumping. But we wanted this like gimmick of not having a jump button you could not jump unless you use rocket jump agreeing upon the idea and multiple possibilities for the gameplay loop work on a prototype began immediately we started with the player controller to projectile shooting and then a few simple enemies the focus turned towards the conceptualized gameplay loop in action which meant building out the arena and playing with the small cast we had by the time the arena was done the player could dash around swing with a grapple, rocket jump, and actually fight. We were actually seeing our ideas start to take fruition, and it was really fun for what it was. But then, uh-oh. Uh we gave it to one of our friends, and he absolutely roasted the crap out of it. For a good 30 minutes. Bruh. The swinging was convoluted, the movement had no momentum, and their air control was non-existent, the weapons were like so off, I was really demotivated by the time I got off for the night, since it was a month of work that just got dunked on. Eventually though, there was some actual constructive criticism and advice on what the change that came out of it, which formed the foundation of our next iteration of the game. Uh, like Picasso said, good artists copy, great artists steal. So I watched this uh, video on how the, the code behind Quake uh, for the movement was done, and I was like, fine, you know what, if a movement's that bad, let's just take it from the well proven quake and so studied it and then implemented it you know there's no better movement system to accompany our rocket jump game like come on quake initially i didn't like the change in the movement because i was too attached to what we already had especially because of how much work it was although after a lot of play testing on my end i accepted that this was the right direction we needed and that change is necessary even if you don't want to accept it at first iteration is by far like one of the strongest tools as a software developer. With the beginnings of this project, we learned that the iteration can just force you to draw out a lot of what you've done, or maybe even everything. In our case, it was the movement backend, but we're doing so really like invigorated us for this new path we're taking with the, it's like a love letter to the Quake and Source movement that we like it. Not only that, we also showed it to our friend again, and he also likes it, let's go. We aren't certain about all the goals for our project, only that we hope to release it when it's finished and within a reasonable time frame. By April, we should have a grasp on how to plan for the end of development. But until then, we aim to achieve at least 8 playable and fully finished levels, at least 3 different music tracks with combat loops, all basic sounds and audio integrated for the current game, and the base cast of enemies completely textured with finished models. Uh, we hope you enjoyed the devlog and we hope to one day release this game for you uh, to play and enjoy so stay tuned for more
Boom!